changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Just relax a second. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. 
How about your name? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties.
Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through... Ooh, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my... ...couch and we go through a couple of questions. See if your dogs are still barking. All right, I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. House. Night. Bandit. Light. Mother. Hmm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for, and I reckon that ain't always the best thing. But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay, how about this one? Last one. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out.
Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Hey, partner, might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway. It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it gets as fine a place to settle as any. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Happy trails! Strangers coming into town these days. No offense.
Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Don't get me wrong, the NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says, she thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Keep your gun handy if you go po- Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Not in good springs now. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. You'll need those to pick. If the lock's too much for you to handle, always happy to help someone down on their luck. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways.
Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, you're on. We're giving you help. Come on! See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Okay, say no more. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi.
I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What do you want? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Robbed some people, burned some things, killed a few guys. Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. I've run with some tough gangs, but I gotta admit, they all got nothing on the Legion. I hear they stick you up on poles and it takes a while to die. I ain't saying I'm afraid of them or nothing, but I'll be staying out of their way. New California Republic. Nothing new about it, just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. They've got troops all over the Mojave, but it's a big desert, so it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. Never been there since the NCR's got troops all over it. Must be pretty important. Let me get out of town before we talk. Yeah. Hey. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad, and they've got a lot of friends out there. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. 
Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Fine by me. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. There's always something interesting going on, but the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. I'm sure I've got something you like. Be careful out there.